Um, first of all, I want to thank Martin for an excellent, excellent and challenging talk. Uh, ran a little longer than expected, but there was no way I was going to interrupt that message. So thank you. <laughs> Secondly, to cut to probably what's the most important part of the information that I have to share with you right now, the Wi-Fi password. So if you don't have it already, uh, that's the information that you need in the password, and there's the hashtag for Twitter. Now, I just want to take a couple of minutes to uh, welcome you again to Agile India 2014, which my sources assure me is the biggest and brightest Agile Lean conference in Asia. Of course, my source is Naresh. He might be a little bit biased. Uh, but we have a fabulous, over the next four days, we have a fabulous array of speakers who are going to be here to share information with you on all kinds of topics related to Agile and Lean software methods. We have, this truly is an international conference. We have delegates here from 28 countries around the world, which is uh, fantastic. One thing I'm really curious about is how many people are at Agile India for the first time this year? I am. So, quite a lot of you. Excellent, excellent. But a lot of people who are obviously coming back year after year because they realize the value that they're getting out of this experience. That's fantastic. Um, the conference goes on for four days. One of the things that's going on in parallel to the conferences is there's a number of workshops that are going on alongside. Uh, they started yesterday. They're carrying on through the conference. We also have four days of programming. Today, the theme is scaling agile adoption. There's also going to be a day about offshore and distributed agile, about agile life cycles and beyond agile. And then on the fifth day, an agile job fair, which I think is going to be really amazing. Uh, Everybody should have a copy of the conference program in their handout. We have uh, three parallel tracks going on today. Uh, as I mentioned, the theme of today's event is scaling agile adoption, and I am the theme chair for that stage. We have a lot of really, really interesting information available to you today. Um, rather than talk about the programming, though, because I would feel I, I wouldn't feel it would be fair to highlight certain presentations today. What I want to do is give you a little bit of a tool to use as you try to decide which learning experiences you're going to choose today. So what I want you to do, so I want you to do, uh, you might want to stand up to do this, or you can sit, whatever works for you. Just you stick your hand out, make a loop with your fingers. Okay? Everybody do this. And I want you to look at the slide. When you look through the loop at the end of your arm, what do you see? You see one word, maybe. You see adoption. You see life cycle, you see courage, okay. Now pull your viewer back. What do you see when you reframe your perspective on the situation? Everything. You see everything, you see the big picture. So how does that relate to how you're thinking about approaching your learning, about scaling agile adoption over the next couple of days? Are you interested in the detailed view? Are you interested in the big picture? Maybe you need to shift your focus to think about a problem that you're facing a little bit differently, to think about an opportunity, to, to find an opportunity that you hadn't thought about before because your focus was a little too fixed in one place or another. Another way to think about this idea of how, how do we scale Agile, how do we adopt Agile effectively, maybe it's not the detail to big view. Maybe it's a fractal pattern where if you look at it up close, you look at it from far away, it's actually the same pattern. Maybe different tools to apply it, but you've got the same pattern no matter which level you're looking at. So as you choose which learning experiences you want to take advantage of in the next couple of days, or well, today for sure, but over the course of the conference, I want you to think about where your perspective is and how you might want to step back or step forward and look at your topic from a different point of view. The other thing that I want to share with you about how this learning experience, how this conference is going to work, is the law of two feet, because this is really, really important. If at any time you're in a session and you think, I'm not learning anything from where I am now, or I'm not contributing to the discussion that's going on, please get up and take yourself somewhere where you will be. This is not rude. The presenters will be expecting this. 
This is your responsibility in order to maximize your learning experience and the learning experience of other people, not to stick around somewhere that you aren't getting something out of the experience. So please keep that in mind as you choose which sessions you go to. It's perfectly okay to get up and think, hey, I'm going to be a bit of a bumblebee. I'm going to go check out this session and this session and this session. So uh, I mentioned the workshops that are going on in parallel with the conference. I don't think all of them are full. So if you're really interested in digging in deep into one of the learning experiences uh, presented by, we've got some really amazing speakers here at this conference, please check out the workshops that are available. There may still be room to sign up for one of them. Another conference resource that's available to you at any time is there were a series of pre-conference webinars that happened. And they're available through the conference website, conversations with some people uh, who couldn't be at the conference, but wanted to share some of their learning, some of their passion with the people who are attending today. So please check out those webinars as you have an opportunity to do so. Uh, there will be book signing later tonight, uh, just before the reception. Uh, there's, I believe there's going to be an on-site bookstore. And some of the speakers who are here have brought copies of the books they've written. You can also, if you want to have a conversation, maybe get a book that you already own signed. That's OK, too. That'll be going on this evening just before the reception. I also mentioned this uh, previously, but I think this is going to be a really, really exciting event. The last day of the conference is going to be a job fair. There are a number of companies who are coming to uh, recruit for people who are really passionate about working in an agile or a lean way, really passionate about making a change in how they do work. If you are looking for that kind of work, this is a great opportunity to connect with those kinds of companies. Now, the other thing that's going on that's a little bit special about this conference is there's a project that we're working on. And I'm going to ask Richard to come up. And uh, I said a minute. You've actually got about 40 seconds <laughs> to tell you a little bit about it. Is the mic on? It's on. Good morning. Who here has heard of Agile? Yeah? Know something about Agile? Try it again. There's a lot of people back there. Who here has heard of Agile, knows something about Agile? Who here has heard of art? Knows something about art, is an artist? Who here can hold a pen? If you can hold a pen, you're an artist. So who here is an artist? All right, so we're going to do something amazing at this conference. We are going to not just talk about Agile, we're going to do Agile. We're going to do Agile by making art together. We're going we're to make more awesome at this conference, all right? We're going to make more awesome by using Agile to make art. Tonight at 5.30, we're going to practice some art. If you can hold a pen, you're qualified. Tonight at 8 o'clock, and tomorrow night and Friday night. We're gonna use Agile to make art. Come join us. This is a one of a kind experience. Maybe the first time this has ever been done in the world, certainly the first time at an Agile conference. Come make art with us, make your mark. All you have to do is take a pen, take a paintbrush, go to our art piece. It might be this big, it might be that big, it might be that big. Take a pen, take a paintbrush, make your mark. Make your mark. It's going to be awesome. On the last day of the conference, on Saturday, we're going to take our amazing art piece, this awesome thing that we've created, and we're going to share it with each other. We're going to cut it up into pieces, and you can bring it home. So we're going to make art, and you can take it home with you to remember this conference by. That's all. Come join us tonight. Thanks. Where? We're going to be outside the reception room tonight at 8 o'clock for the art event and check your program or look around for where we're doing the practice event at 5.30. Thanks. Excellent. Thank you, Richard. So just a couple of notes before we wrap up and uh, go to the coffee break. One thing I forgot to mention when I was talking about the, all four days of the conference. If you are here for multiple days of the conference, please remember to bring back your tag each day because this will be your admission to the conference. Uh, just a couple of people I want to acknowledge in, in terms of who has made this all possible. First of all, the fabulous venue that we have, the uh, Chancery Pavilion Bangalore, which is a great space to hold this kind of event, very comfortable place to stay. We have fantastic sponsors. 
without whom this conference would not be possible. Um, a number of them, I think all of them, have booths outside uh, in the hallway there and around the corner. I encourage you to go and visit and stop, say hello, see what they have to offer. Uh, I want to take a moment to thank the program team who pulled this all together. Pulling together a conference of this size and this breadth takes an awful lot of work. And there are a whole bunch of people who are involved in doing this. Can I just ask very quickly, anybody who's on the uh, team for any of the days of the conference, you want to just quickly stand up so people can see who you are? Maybe give these. Too, too many names to mention, but Pramod and Naresh had a lot of help, and a lot of time and effort went into making this the best conference program possible. So, thank you. I just want to take a moment. My understanding is that the title sponsors wanted to come up and say a couple of words. Is there anybody from either of the sponsors who wants to come up and uh, share a message with the crowd at this point? Silence, silence. Okay. Maybe we'll give them a chance later in the day then to, uh, to, to, to uh, share a message with you. In that case, it is about 20 after now. We are well into the top coffee and tea break. The first round of the session starts at 10.30 sharp. So please go grab yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and make your decision about where you're going to start this morning. Thank you.